Fortnite just announced their newest update that they are releasing tomorrow, February 1st, and this is actually version 19.2. Now, the point two does actually have some significance here. I'm not just throwing random numbers out at you guys, and that's because we're going to be getting the version two of the Grotto alongside a ton of other things. So let's actually dive right in to all of the patch notes and all of the things that we know are going to be coming tomorrow. Now, to start it off, let's start off with the official stuff. The first thing that we have is a Fortnite status tweet tweeted out only just a few minutes ago. And this says version 19.20 is covertly coming up until we just announced it. Now, for those who don't know, whenever Fortnite announces a new update, they love to use these sorts of little puns and actually foreshadow as to what is going to be coming in the next update. Now, obviously, this key word is covertly. And basically, what that means is we are going to be getting the release of Covert Canyon. Now, for those who do not know, Covert Canyon is the code name for the POI of Grotto V2. Now, basically, the IO, for those who have not been following the storyline, are currently drilling through from the other side of the map, and they're drilling onto the side of the map that we are currently on. Now, in that process, they are actually hollowing out a mountain, and inside of that mountain is going to be the location of the Grotto V2. Now, there will be a graphic on screen right now for where that will actually be on the map relative to everything else. Now, unfortunately, we do not have any pictures of the inside of it yet, but it does also make it a little bit more exciting for tomorrow's update morning so that we don't know exactly what it looks like in there. Hopefully, Fortnite actually pulls through with this and makes it just as good as the last Grotto actually was. But hey, you never know. Fortnite could choke this update. But let's be legit here, guys. With how good Fortnite's updates have been this season, I think that this Grotto is going to be even better than the original one. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below. But that is not the only thing coming tomorrow, and there's actually a ton of more stuff. So moving on to my second point here, we are going to be getting another update to the map. Now, this one is a little bit smaller, but for those who do not know, in the Tilted Towers update, we got a small POI called Caddis Cave. Now, this little spot is really a mystery to us. Now, we know that it is somehow related to the storyline. We know that some sort of monster came out of here, and we know that it might be the Klombos. I'm fairly sure that's what it was, but there's still that small possibility that, hey, maybe it wasn't the Klombos that came out of there. Maybe it was some Something else. So we will most likely be seeing an update to Caddis Cave and just be seeing like the developments of what the IO is actually doing around this location and what they're actually trying to learn about the creature that came out of this spot. Now, that is all of the map updates that we're going to be getting in the next update, but alongside the map updates, we're going to be getting a lot of other stuff. One of the first categories that we're going to dive into is everybody's favorite skins. Now, tomorrow, February 1st at 7 p.m. Eastern Time with the refresh of the item store, we're actually going to be getting a new set of collab skins. Now, when I say new there, I don't actually mean really new. This collab is actually going to be an older collab that Fortnite has already done, and they're just going to be updating it and giving us new skins that are featured underneath the umbrella of that older collaboration. So, some examples that some leakers have come up with are possibly a Star Wars collaboration, because it's around that time of year when Fortnite did this the last time they collaborated with Star Wars. Another possible option, and the way more likely one, is a Spider-Man collaboration, because obviously, that has been a fan favorite for a very long time and now that we actually have it in the game of course epic games will want to milk out as much money from that as they possibly can so honestly i would probably be expecting a spider-man skin maybe a mary jane skin in the item store tomorrow night at 7 p.m eastern time so make sure to stay tuned for that but fortunately that's not the only skin release that we're getting there is even more skins that are going to be coming tomorrow and this skin is the highly anticipated foundation skin. Now, this skin, ever since it was revealed to be Dwayne The Rock Johnson, has been amazing. I honestly love how it looks, but this skin is going to be releasing either tomorrow or in three days. Now, let me explain that to you guys. In-game right now, if you click on the tab, it says coming in three days. Now, Fortnite has done this with effectively every single one of these quote-unquote secret skins that they release halfway through the season. 
Now, typically, they get the timing all wrong, and they eventually just end up releasing it on the morning of the release when these things are actually coming out. So, I would honestly expect this foundation skin to be coming out tomorrow at around, like, I don't know, probably 10 a.m. Eastern time. But if it doesn't come out then, then hey, don't be mad. It will be coming out eventually. It's just most likely going to get postponed till Thursday if it does not get released tomorrow on Tuesday. But the odds of it getting released on Tuesday are very, very high. So, I would make sure to stay tuned to your Fortnite client to see if that has actually been released. And if you don't want to stay tuned to the Fortnite client, then hey, stay tuned to this channel. Channel because, of course, you know I will be keeping you guys updated, so make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, I don't know, hit everything if you want to. It always helps me out, it doesn't cost you anything, so hey, consider doing it. But along with that, we have yet another skin. I know, this is getting a little bit tedious here talking about all these skins. But we also have the Haven Masks. Now, for those who do not know, Haven is a Battle Pass skin this season. And she is basically the equivalent of the uh, Tuna Fish that we had last season. Where once this timed reward actually unlocks, which is going to be unlocking again either tomorrow or Thursday, just like the Foundation... We are actually going to be able to complete certain challenges to unlock more of her mask styles. If you actually look at her right now in game, I believe that she only currently has one mask style. But after the update tomorrow, she is going to be getting a lot more mask styles. And you're going to be able to complete certain challenges to unlock those styles. Again, I will be posting a guide on how to get all of those tomorrow. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel for that. So that is actually our final thing about skins, finally. Now we actually get to move on to some more theoretical type stuff. And one of these is really interesting. The other is just a little bit of a news update, but I figured that I'd throw them both in here. Now, first off, it is the news around the revolver. Now, for those who do not know, the revolver has been an item in Fortnite that has kind of just skirted along the edges of being in the game, and then sometimes it gets removed, and then sometimes it gets added back in. So, we may be seeing the release or the unvaulting of the revolver tomorrow. I don't know why, but Hypex just kind of speculated that it might be happening. So, hey, if he thinks it might be happening, then I think it might be happening. Personally, I don't think this item is going to be coming back. Solely due to the fact that this would be one of the very few items from the old loot pool to actually get added back into the game. And I feel like the revolver wasn't really that much of a fan favorite. Unlike how the grenade launcher actually was. I mean, everybody loved that item. And let's be legit, it is extremely fun to play around with on the Chapter 3 map. Now, my final point about tomorrow's update is that we will most likely be seeing the addition of the FNCS tab to the Compete tab. Now, this one's just a little bit of a smaller update, but for any of you guys that are actually Fortnite pros or people who are trying to go pro in Fortnite, we are probably going to be seeing the addition of the FNCS to the Compete tab tomorrow. Now, we've already had the trailer for it and all that good stuff, and we know that it's going to be starting on February 18th. So, seeing as we'll only be like 18 days away from when it actually starts, we will probably get it added in the next update because if not, then it would be cutting it a little bit close with when it's going to get added. So I would expect to see the release of that in the compete tab tomorrow if you're looking for very specific details on what's actually going to be going on in the FNCS scene for Chapter 3 Season 1. But this is literally everything that you guys need to know about tomorrow's update in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 1 version 19.2. This was a little bit of a longer version of a video solely due to the fact that there was a lot to cover today. But if you actually did enjoy the video or find it helpful, then please consider the a like and, a, and subscribing to the channel as that would help me out a ton. I hope you guys all have an amazing day and I will see you guys in the next one.